So we did get a really nice break from that nasty heat and humidity with those 70s last Thursday and Friday. We've been warming a little bit since, but now it's about to be hot once this area of rain gets out of here and the impact from that upper low north of us gradually works out. So from Osage City and Ottawa right up toward Lawrence, working across I-70 into Kansas City, we have rain and then scattered storms mainly north of the Kansas River here, just outside of Riley and Manhattan, going right over toward the Holton area, kind of dipping down towards St. Mary's and then working all the way to Atchison and beyond and all of this is working from west to east at about 20 miles per hour and nothing severe with this. It's all caught up in this giant spin leaving Omaha kind of working up across Iowa and the tail end of this is rotating right through northeast Kansas so that will get in and out pretty quickly. We should go partly cloudy by mid to late morning and then after that I think a decent amount of sunshine before a chance of thunderstorms kicks off again and the big bad weather should be in Missouri kind of cutting down toward Pittsburgh but there is a slight risk risk Kansas City down toward the Emporia area so much of the action late day into the evening probably from 5 to 10 p.m. should be east and south of Topeka at that time. This shaded area represents the heat advisory that's going to kick in and that begins at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and then it runs all the way through late Friday unless it's extended beyond that and this will be for heat index values of 105 to 110 with actual air temperatures in the upper 90s to low 100s. Right now a lot of mid and upper 60s out toward the west 70 to Topeka, Burlington at 70, and Lawrence the same thing. And dew points are trying to behave here, coming down just a little bit through our northern counties. Otherwise, we're looking at some mid and upper 60 dew points. And we may actually go above 100 later this week because the moisture content will come down just a touch, and that will allow those temperatures to soar even more. So this morning, by 7, 8, 9 o'clock, a lot of those showers get out of here. Late day, a lot of the action should be again south of Emporia and Kansas City. More and more sunshine to the north and northwest. And and then the bubble of heat will really dominate for many days and there should be very few clouds will start to become really hazy. The sky will appear very milkish and whitish and that will take us all the way toward the upcoming weekend. So for today, we do have showers and storms working through this morning and then we go partly cloudy for late morning and midday and then a chance of storms in the early evening and again much of that south. Then 72 nighttime tomorrow, hazy, hot and humid at 98 and then look out for the heat. Here it comes 102 on Thursday, a 100 plus on Friday in many areas out to the west may be one to three degrees higher than this and overnight lows are going to be really tough. We're almost talking about six to seven a.m. to drop down to this 75 to 80 degree range. So that's going to be really difficult. And then a chance of some evening storms by Saturday, widely scattered storms on Sunday, breezy and not as hot into early next week. And again, Sunday marks the first day of July. Uh, we'll start to look to see what's going to happen closer to the 4th of July as we get another day or two 